Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to my channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing great. In today's video I'm going to take a look at a clone of a great fragrance, unfortunately discontinued one from the house of uh, Thierry Mugler called Amen Pure Mode. The clone comes from Fragrance World and it's called Starman Nebula. Now, I was hunting this fragrance for a long, long time before I was finally able to get my hands on a bottle of this one. And so, as usual in this video, I'm going to tell you how it smells, how it performs, how much I paid for it. I'll show you the packaging and then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion on whether Starman Nebula is actually worth checking out. The box that Starman Nebula from Fragrance World comes packaged with looks like this. It has this sort of a darker brownish color to it. On the front, you got the name of the fragrance, uh, you know, the concentration, the bottle size, EDP 100 milliliters. On the back, there's some uh, sticker of authenticity. On the top, there's the fragrance logo. Uh, and uh, on the bottom, there's a production date. In this case, the production date of this bottle is April of 2022. So it's a bit of an old bottle and then uh, this is how the bottle looks you know it has this sort of a funky uh, design to it uh, the plus the cap is plastic feels cheap uh, but at least it's a snug fit so it's not a problem to pick the fragrance up through the cap and then i don't know if you'll be going to be able to see but there's the fragrance world uh, logo on the top of the atomizer as well all in all the presentation is uh, nothing special it feels quite if cheap. you enjoy my videos guys i would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button it really means a lot to me. Okay, I'll show you the sprayer in action. The sprayer is, uh, you know, so-so. Uh, I'll probably need to use a few more sprays than usual with this one uh, to get the needed performance. And now onto the scent of uh, Starman Nebula. This thing opens up with a slight fruitness, slight sweety, uh, sweetness from uh, a fruit note. Uh, there's maybe a slight hint of freshness in the opening of this one. But uh, it feels quite uh, chocolatey and quite boozy uh, right from the get-go. My guess will be that that uh, chocolatey vibe comes from the patchouli note in this fragrance, which is quite strong from the opening to the late dry down. Uh, once this starts to dry down, it becomes uh, a lot richer, a lot sweeter. You start to pick up on the vanilla and the amber note in this fragrance. Um, uh, the boozy note is with you again and it will become stronger on the dry down. Uh, the whole scent is sweeter and darker and has a sort of a more full body to it uh, on the on the dry down. The opening, I'm not the biggest fan of the opening of this fragrance, but the dry down is quite enjoyable. And now on to the important question of how close Starman Nebula actually is to the original Pure Mold from Thierry Mugler. Now, I've uh, not used uh, Pure Mold for quite a few years. You know, I finished my bottle a few years ago and never repurchased uh, we purchased it unfortunately but at least from uh, my memory if my memory serves me right uh, starman nebula differs quite a bit especially in the opening the opening of pure malt used to be sweeter you know you used to have a lot more um, fruity sweetness in the opening of that fragrance the boozy note uh, at least from what i remember wasn't as strong as it is with this one in the opening and it felt felt somewhat fresher compared to this one but once uh, this fragrance Starman Nebula starts to dry down, it actually becomes very, very close to the original scent. It becomes darker, boozier, sweeter, like I remember a pure malt to be. So the opening is a little bit different, quite a bit different, but the dry down is very, very close. When we talk about the performance of Starman Nebula, uh, you know, compared to the original, original used to be a very strong performing fragrance. Starman Nebula is a sort of an average, maybe slightly above average, at least from my experience. I've had this fragrance for about a month now, and pretty much every time I've worn this one, it's given me about seven hours of performance on skin with sort of a moderate projection in the first about one hour. So performance wise Starman Nebula is uh, let, let's call it slightly above average. We'll talk about the price tag of Starman Nebula at least from what I've seen it's a very cheap fragrance but when we talk about uh, North America where people are reporting this to cost somewhere between 20 to 25 dollars. Unfortunately here in Europe this is a little bit harder to find and it's uh, quite a bit more expensive. I paid roughly about 30 euros in order to get uh, Starman Nebula, which translates to maybe close to $40. Still, it's cheap, uh, you know, but uh, not as cheap as uh, it's, I would like it to be. 
when it comes to versatility, this is a fragrance that the whole scent profile, the DNA of this uh, fragrance is uh, more orientated towards cold weather usage, you know, because of that uh, chocolatey patchouli, uh, that malt, that um, boozy notes that you get with this one, you know, the vanilla, the amber. It's a sweet fragrance, especially on the dry down, quite a bit dark, so it's definitely more orientated towards cold weather usage and nighttime usage. But you can probably get away with this using this one in warmer weather as long as you don't over spray. And on to my final thoughts about Starman Nebula from Fragrance World. Now Pure Malt used to be one of my favorite fragrances and as I said unfortunately I never repurchased uh, a bottle of that fragrance and nowadays uh, in order to get one you know you pretty much have to pay through your nose you know especially if you're looking for a brand new unsealed bottle you probably have to pay hundreds of dollars which is just nuts and uh, it's really unfortunate that that fragrance is discontinued so uh, I read and saw a lot of hype about Starman Nebula you know being a good clone so I was desperately trying to get my hands on a bottle of this fragrance and to be honest uh, I'm not fully satisfied with this one because uh, it lacks a bit of performance and it, it lacks a bit of that uh, scent that I remember pure mode to be especially in the opening but on the dry down this will get you quite close to the original scent and as far as I know this is uh, probably your only opportunity at getting a clone of pure mode so if you're looking for a clone of uh, pure mode from uh, Thierry Mugler uh, you definitely have to check out uh, Starman Nebula just uh, don't expect this to be as good as the original used to be oh you know this fragrance gets a like from me it's not a huge like it's not a love simply because I don't think this is uh, the quality in here is exactly as good as some people are claiming it to be but still this is a nice little fragrance especially if you can get it for about 20 to 25 dollars so guys in today's video I showed you one of the very few uh, alternatives to the long discontinued and great fragrance from uh, Thierry Mugler called Pure Malt from the house of uh, Fragrance World Starman Nebula. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.